what's up YouTube fam? Brandy Weaver here once again. And if you had a city credit card, you might be having some money come back to you. That's right, city, this is very interesting, city saw that they violated the Truth in Lending Act, all right? The Truth in Lending Act, one of the parts of the Truth in Lending Act says that they have to adjust the APR or the rate of interest on your credit cards every six months if there's some improvement in your credit score. So some of you doing your credit repair, you're getting things better, you're paying on time, they're supposed to reevaluate that every six months and they're gonna say, oh yes, your credit score is better, we need to lower your interest rate. Now, this didn't happen for about one and a half to 1.7 million customers, they're saying. And so now Citi, they actually, this is very interesting, they reported their own violation to the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, the CFPB, like we know, and they have decided to start doing refunds to customers. They're going to be refunding all these customers and they're doing a payout of $335 million. This is huge, huge, huge. Now, of course, it gets condensed down and each individual breaks down to about $190 or so in this settlement agreement, so to speak. You will wanna take a look out for that. They're sending out checks and refunding. Now, you might be one of those few individuals. They actually don't have a site or something like that where you can go on and see if you are getting a refund. But if you had a city card, you might want to perhaps reach out to them if you still have that city card or if you know if you know that you had one and that your APR was really high and that you've had it for a significant amount of time and you don't ever think that your interest rate went down, they might have violated your Truth in Lending Act. And I'm telling you guys, there is so many laws designed for you to help you to get your credit squared away to make sure that you're getting the right results and they're not violating your rights and the CFPB is out there and they're helping and they're getting you cash back in your pocket, all right? So I just wanted to, you know, share that good news with you and if you have collections like this individual, we'll get right into the credit repair. If you have collections like this individual, some of them have come off and some have been violating their HIPAA rights, okay? So a collector responded and they violated my HIPAA rights showing all my medical procedures. They were itemized, everything, but they didn't send a HIPAA release form, right? They signed HIPAA release saying that they, that you give, pro, you can allow them, third parties, to see your medical records that they're not supposed to allow to, right? They're not allowed to. Now, can I send the HIPAA violation letters out now even though I already disputed these on my round of letters, right? My dispute rounds went out should I send out the HIPAA disputes now or should I wait to get the results back? Now, you wanna to wait till we get the results back so they can get stitched up and trapped up and we talk about this all the time. So they can come back and say, oh, we quote unquote verified or this and that. And we say, well, that's interesting because this is what I received. I didn't get a HIPAA release, right, in the letter. And if this is what you're getting, you can't use this for verification or validation or for anything. This is a violation of my HIPAA rights and you can report them to the HHS.gov. That's right, a little bit different. This Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, you can also report, but you have another means of reporting because you have so many rights and when they violate your rights and they violate the law, these deletions come off, we're seeing deletions come off, we're seeing foreclosures and bankruptcies and liens and collections and charge-offs and all sorts of negative accounts, okay? So you can get the job done and you can get it done at 609creditrepair.com where you can get these letters for yourself, do it yourself, you get email support, all right? Or we can do it for you at theawesomelifegroup.com. You can sign up, we can go through the process, send out the letters for you, find the violations, and you have an entire team here to help you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, gently touch that bell for notifications for the next time I go live. So when you have questions like this and you wanna know if you wanna send out a dispute letter or you wanna do the 623 method directly to the original creditor, which we have in the Beyond Committed Package, or you wanna send a collection letter, right, to get validation, right? So if they have any signed contract, they have any instrument of indebtedness for you or your student loans or whatever it is, you can get this knocked out and you can get the help that you need, all right? So I've had a couple of questions. People are interested in getting evictions off the reports. We talk about this all the time. I've been seeing it over and over. It must be this time of year where people are looking for new apartments and I apologize if you went through an eviction because it is nonsense, okay? People are giving 
30 days, 60 day notice and still getting hit with stuff like this. Having to pay stuff, it, it's ridiculous, okay? So one of the big things, uh, obviously, CoreLogic, right? LexisNexis, Appfolio, screening reports. Make sure that you take a look at these other smaller bureaus and dispute those evictions out. The three credit bureaus will fall just like that. And we have videos here on how to dispute your evictions and get them removed. Finding the violations, we talk about this all the time. We've got an ebook on how you can and sue and win, okay? It's got all the violations in there for you at the Beyond Committed Package at 609creditrepair.com. And if you need further assistance, you can hit me up in the email, in the comments below when you hit that subscribe button, hit subscribe, tribe, and let me know how you're doing. And until I see you in person, I will see you on the other side. Take care.